campers. Let's sound off. One, two. Everyone, minus one. We've got so many distracting activities planned, so no sneaking off to investigate stuff. <laughs> Thanks for the fun time, hot stuff. Yeah, yeah, listen. Keep this discreet, you hear me? I can't let it get out I'm offering my services to randos on the street. It was a quick cash grab. You got it? The sudden circus comes to town. Then the top hat mouth. Come gather, gather all around. See them rain their fire down. <laughs> Niles, please just let them go. Our time is over. Don't drag them down with our failures. I am not a failure. We are the real mean guardians. We are so close to creating the perfect universe! The power of the God Box is supposed to be ours! You're my friend, Niles. But I can't let you do this. I'll fix this, don't worry. Just watch, just watch! You and I will fix it all! After years of being ignored, the company actually heard all my complaints. Yep, they listened to them very carefully. I guess my words must have really inspired them to take action. It's an alarming willingness to commit violence. Further suppression treatments will need to be enacted to ensure that no other experiments develop these qualities. They are trying to build more toys, more like you. It has to be stopped. Are you ready? Oh, I was just getting kind of bored of wrestling. This is Monday Night Raw, after all. We've got to fill time with long-winded vignettes. A murder occurred, and that was a perfect excuse to break up the pace with a trial. No, 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 no! Someone needs to be punished. It's tradition. It just can't be Brock Lesnar. Then who is the one to be punished? Isn't it obvious? The person most responsible for Junko's death, outside of Brock Lesnar. But you were trying to kill her anyway! I bet you were the one who tried to frame me, too! Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman! And I am here on behalf of my client, Brock Lesnar! Once there was a boy who was the track team captain, and the president of the Honor Society, and real good in a fist fight. He put 150% of himself in anything he set his mind to. He had to, see, because he knew that nothing could be taken for granted. Fought tooth and nail for everything he had, this boy. But in the end, he had to learn that some battles could never be won. His name was Masato Kurogane. Hey kids, welcome back to the show! I'd do the normal thing and catch you up on what we've been doing out here, but there's simply no time! Isn't that right, Milk Pooch? You should take up jogging. Not because you're chunky or anything, you just look really good all sweaty and gasping. Hey, quick! Uh, think of a number between 1 and 10. Uh, was it 6? Okay, next time think of the number 6. Enough! Trying to hoodwink me, are you? You can't possibly be this dreadful! At this rate, you bring me no choice. You're letting me leave? Hey, you're not half bad. See you never. No, we're tossing the script and moving on to La Grande. Raph, where am I? The drums, Central Hospital. You've been out for a week. I was worried you'd never wake up. A week? Wait, please tell me. Yeah, everyone's safe for now, thanks to you. Oh, I can hear someone shouting your name. What? Where? It came from inside. The boss? Don't hear anything. You sure? Better check. Nah, I have good ears. Stop tricking me. Ah, not so dumb after all. Yeah? Well, you got what you deserved, you fat... meanie. What? Oh, did I say meanie? I meant... 
menial. You're so ugly. I bet your mother suffocated when she gave birth to you. Guarding is the perfect job for you. With so much fat, no one can move you out of the way. Oh man, I'll buy you a toothbrush. With such terrible breath, you obviously can't afford one. So, two bananas walk into a bar, and... Shut up! But it's a good joke! Enough! 